Hello my dotty family and welcome to part number three of this video. If you want to see part one, go and check it out. And if you are a beginner, please go and have a look at my fundamentals and try out some beginners videos first. I'm just going to go back to my turquoise for a second and then I'm also going to be using this yellow tool of mine, so the small side. And then I'm going to walk the dog above this little teardrop four times for each one. Moving on to the next color, which is this one here. I'm going to use the other side of the yellow tool, so the all ball side. And I'm going to walk the dog starting on the side of my teardrop. So one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way up the side of the teardrop, starting as far down as I possibly can. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then just going up into that little space that I've got available there. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, and another one. One, two, three, four, five, six, all the way around. Then I'm just quickly going back to my turquoise color. And then I'm going to use the small ball side of the pink tool. And I'm just going to add a dot above that green dot of mine, one on each side. Just to fill in that little gap there, because I see there's still a bit of a gap available to dot in. Then we want to try and fill those. While I am with this yellow green color of mine, uh, the ones we made, not the dots with. So the one that flows after yellow. I'm just straight out of the bottle. I'm going to take it and I'm just going to give it a top dot in the center. Like so. And just let that settle the way it wants to settle. Like that. And then while that is still wet, I'm going to grab my green and just do a tiny dot on the top, like so. I want it to settle a bit more, so I'm just going to bash it down very lightly, like so. There we go. I like that. And then still sticking to my green and straight out of the bottle. I'm going to place a dot on every intersection. I want to make this dot quite large and that's why I'm doing it out of the bottle. I don't really need a needle to do this with because the bottle's already giving me a nice nozzle to work with. They're quite large, like that. Then I'm going to want to give my teardrops a top dot as well. So I'm going back to purple, which is the color just before it. Well, it's not purple, it's the blue purple, bluish purple. <laughs> I want to give it quite a large top dot like that and then I'm going to take my yellow tool the small ball side and then I'm just going to drag it out to give me a teardrop shape as well there we go like that so you're going to put quite a bit of paint, about that much. 
So it's about two mil away from each side. And then just drag it. Now you want to do this if the top layer of your teardrops are dry. Or when they are dry. So that you can work on top of that. Um, else you're going to burst the bubbles that are underneath and we don't want to do that. Then what we're going to do is you're going to go down one, two, let's make it two intersections this way. And then you're just going to draw from there little hoops. Okay, so all the way down there. And then just draw that all the way around. And I'm going back to my yellow green color. And I'm going to use my gray needle. And I'm going to dot about that size on each side. Okay. So in that little block there. And then I'm going to use my yellow tool, the small side, and I'm going to drag it. I'm going to drag it in like that, and then just straighten this edge like that. Let's do another one. Ooh, this one can actually go a little bit more. Get it quite close and then get it close to that edge as well without touching. This is really fine, delicate work. But I know you can do it. You can definitely do it. Another one here and one there, like so. in and then this one as well like so and then we're going to do all of them like that Right, so now we're going to skip one color, which would be the yellow, which should have been next. And then I'm going on to my yellow orange color instead. And this one I'm going to make on the straight line within that little hoop. Or actually, you know what? I think let's move it down a bit. I'm going to do it on the intersection. So on this intersection bit like that. Okay, and then you're going to do the same thing. So then we're just going to drag it in. There we go. Drag it in and then just straighten the sides like that. Then I'm going to go back to the color I just skipped, which is the yellow. And on this straight line, on this line, the hoop line, I'm going to make a dot on either side, like so. And then I'm going to drag it in like so, and then just expand it on the sides so try and drag it to the center and then expand the sides a little bit more so they're closer to the other petals like that Sticking to yellow and my all ball side, I'm going to do a tiny dot 
right there in between all of these flowers on that straight line. Same size tool, I'm just moving up one color, so my yellow orange. And sticking to the exact same size, I'm just going to make another one below it. And I'm going to continue this process and I'm just going to move on to the next color all the way around and then just do a couple down. Okay, so I ended up making seven in total. Yellow, yellow, orange, orange, and then it's like fire red, and then pink, and then in between pink and purple, and purple. Next up, I'm going to take my green needle tool and orange, and I'm going to make two dots on each side of this flower. So I'm going to do one there, like so, and then one here. So it's just above the chalk line in that little corner there. Like so. I'm going to do that all the way around. In sticking to the same color, I'm going to make a dot just below the petal here. Same size as those ones. And then I'm just going to add in between so find the center to give you that kind of a shape so between those dots just a little bit further away from the petal I'm gonna find the center like so and then just add some dots like that and back to Superman mode. So unfortunately, these ones were a little bit too big and then they blended together, but it's fine uh, because those dots are actually made a little bit smaller than the top ones. So just look at your spacing as you're doing that um, in order to make sure that you space them out right without them expanding too much like that oh, it's okay I'll just fix that when it's dry story of my life okay then I'm going to move on to my well, fire color which is the next in line and my blue needle okay just to quickly show you again how I fix these ones I'm just going to divide them like that And if they don't look round enough, I'm just going to dip my tool and then just go on those dots just to shape them a little bit more round. Then next I'm going to use my reddish color and my green tool, the big ball side, because we're going to be walking the dog. So from here, there, it's going to be your first one on the straight line. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven if you have enough paint on your tool. And going on the first one again, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing in the next color, which is pink. So Superman mode! Then when your dots have dried quite a bit, I'm going to take my turquoise and the blue needle and I want to do some, some top dots for these flowers of mine. So with my turquoise, I'm just going to give these ones top dots. Then moving on to my green, which was that one there, so the center of my petal. I want to do top dots in that on the first petals. So I'm just going to make a small dot like that with my green needle tool. And then I'm going to use my pink to just drag it in like so. Then 
Then I'm going to repeat the process. So in other words, that color is top dotting for there. This color is top dotting here. This color is top dotting here. I do exactly the same for all of them. Superman mode! And that completes our piece. Oh, let me know if you like this video. If you'd like to see more of it, just give me a thumbs up. To see all your work, I'm going to put a link up right here. You can go and watch that video. If you did all of this in one day, then you qualify as a crazy fan, which I'm going to call a cray cray. In the comments below, just say, I'm a cray cray fan. <laughs> I'd like to see all the crazy people out there. Are. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I'll see you guys again next time. Stay dotty, stay magical, keep well. Bye-bye.